Hey guys, how we doing? We're back in the studio. I hope you uh, watched that video we did earlier today. I actually shot that one outside here at the house to let you know how we're doing, but uh, we're back. We're feeling better. And again, I hope you had a chance to watch that video from earlier. This time in our photo bin, we're going to go back to, I'm not sure if it was Victoria 200 weekend then or Outlaw 200 weekend. I'm pretty sure it was Victoria 200 weekend because I didn't see anybody wearing the cowboy stuff and everything. This is on Saturday, September 30th, 2006. Um, obviously it rained the night before and they had to run the sportsman race that day on Saturday. Matt Janzik, of course, was the winner in that one. Matt, I know uh, you went through uh, what I went through, so um, I hope you're feeling better these days days too. So let's take a ride around here and see what's going on. There's the pit area. Still very, very early in the day here on the Saturday. With the weather the day before, they had a little bit of track work to do that day, but obviously the best in the business. And there's a lot of really candid shots in here that I know you guys uh, are going to love uh, and some people who are no longer with us too. So, uh, But my favorite one-day event in racing, period, bar none, and the sentence right there uh, is, of course, the 200 at Fulton, Randy Chrysler right there. Randy, we hope you're doing well. Hope your lacrosse teams are doing well also. Andy Phelps, the patriarch of the Phelps family with his sons here as uh, they're getting ready to go. Uh, hey, Billy Chantel Jr. Somebody's calling him on the phone. How you doing, man? Million dollar smile. Frankie Caprera. Uh, and I think you might notice that guy on the right. That's a Taylor Caprera, too, when he was very young uh, in the business. Tommy Jewell here, along with Mr. Excitement, Bub Burnell, uh, as they were still running street stocks as a part of this event. Of course, uh, they ran their race earlier, so a lot of them were getting out and heading back home at this point after a busy, 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 busy day at Fulton Speedway. And you can see they had a little bit of track work to do on this day, as we, like we said, it rained the night before. So it was a late arriving crowd, obviously, at this point. Ronnie Johnson, uh, the 03, Zach Aubertine in the shot as well there. Uh, there's Jack Johnson. I got a shot of him a little bit later that I know you're going to like. Uh, Paul Kinney and his crew getting ready to go before the day. Matty D, Matty D Lorenzo. So nice to see him here. And again, this was... This was 15 years ago, so some of these people you're going to go, wow, they look pretty young in this deal here. But, um, of course, you know, this was me getting new uh, to taking pictures, and this was a common theme. Uh, big two-day weekend. You grab a nap when you can at Fulton Speedway. Scott Jeffries, uh, that's Billy Decker with his back to us there. And Alex Bruce. Of course, if you saw him uh, in Syracuse there a few weeks ago, uh, this is him with a haircut. So, <laughs> Alex, we miss you, man. And we hope you're doing all right up there uh, in Canada. Roger Phelps, tire pressure gauge in hand, ready to go out himself. And you can see they, they brought the tent and you got the sawdust down. So that lets you know that it was pretty wet in the pit area. Hey, man, what's going on? What are we eating? We got a pig roast going on here. So uh, a lot of people eat very well on this particular weekend at Fulton Speedway. Always a place to find for your car there in the pit area. Look at this guy. Alan Rudel Average back in the day. Looking pretty suave there, buddy. And uh, there's the Brett Tonkin Butch as they're getting ready to have some fun. Love that a lot of people would put Doug's Dirt Diary again on the roof, uh, on the roof support panel there. Uh, smart move on my part. Got a lot of nice publicity from a lot of folks who were nice enough to do that. The Sears 83, Gary Tompkins 84 right here as he gets ready to go. Brett Hearn, of course, always a threat. Um, there is Matt Shepard's number 44S. That's when Randy Ross owned the car. And so nice that they put the Dugster Diary sticker on there for me. And look at this bunch as they get ready to go here in the pit area. Uh, working, of course, for Randy Ross. You can see the track's worked in pretty well now. So they're going to be heading out in just a little bit here at Fulton Speedway. Crowd, of course, late arriving crowd. It was kind of an iffy day, as you could see anyway. So I think a lot of folks uh, decided to wait a little bit later and come in later that day. This is looking from turn two towards the river here. That's the old drag strip that you're actually seeing there. And they ran from the river towards the road, as a matter of fact. So this was, you know, because uh, I was new to the photos. I couldn't take those uh, photos, those action shots, like all the really good photographers took. So I tried to get people on the inside. AJ Romano, a little pre-race stretch there as he gets ready to go. And there he is, the man, the myth, the legend. Jumping Jack Johnson. Man, we miss you, buddy. Getting ready to head out on the track for the first time. Bobby Varon and his crew getting ready for a day of fun out at Fulton Speedway. This bunch here, you'll know them here in just a second. Yep, it's uh, the Jimmy Phelps bunch. Familiar number 99J. There's Jimmy underneath the car making a couple of adjustments himself. 
Uh, Tom Skabinski in the pit area. That's the guy with the Advanced Auto Parts Super Dirt Series hat on. Dale Plank inside the trailer. I always like the inside looking out of the trailer shot. I always enjoyed that. Look at Bob Henry Jr. here, huh? <laughs> he might have been a teenager at this stage of the game. Tommy Sears already pretty established at this point, getting ready to go. And here's, here's a shot you don't see anymore. No coils on the shocks. The pan hard bar, that's the upper right there. The pan hard bar adjuster on the left side. Boy, what a difference 15 years makes. Bob McCready, we hope you're doing well, buddy. And Danny O'Brien, what a nice comeback for him as he made it back to the track this year and did very well after uh, having some health problems himself. Gordy Button getting ready to go. The panic button ready. There's Danny Johnson checking some things out on his 27J as he gets ready to go out. Dan Vauder actually ran into him this year down at Afton. So nice to see him there. And, of course, one of the gentlemen uh, in the sport right here, uh, the familiar number 24 of Jimmy Whitco. Great guy. Roger Phelps probably ordering a pizza at this point for after the race. No, just kidding, but nice to see Roger as this was really quite the day at Fulton Speedway. There's another one of Billy Chantel Jr. as he gets ready to go. Look how young Paul Kinney looks right here. Before sprint cars, when he was still running modifieds, Paul, I hope you, Ned, and the whole family and everybody are doing well. Jimmy Phelps looks pretty young here too, doesn't he? 15 years ago, Billy Trexler, one of the first guys I met in racing, by the way. He was running pure stocks at Utica Rome when I started. There's the guy they call the Hurricane next to Baba, Frank Burnell. And there again is A.J. Romano. In his pit area, you can see Matty D in the bunch getting ready to head out onto the racetrack. And how about this? Corey Barker on the left, who won a qualifying heat this year. Look at that hair. And, of course, his dad, John Barker Jr. What a great photo right there. Told you there's a lot of people in this one here. Tony Buffa doing a little tire grinding. And there's Todd Milton. We ran into him earlier this year. He's got a good deal going down in Lafayette. Make sure to check out what he's got going on. So make sure to look him up. And I wanted to finish with this one here. How about it? Stuart Friesen. Stan Friesen. Priceless photo. Thank everybody for all your support. We're thinking maybe we might get, try to get back out on the road this week. We'll see how it goes. But I want to thank all of you again for help keeping me pumped up when I was in the hospital. It means the world to me. I'm feeling awesome today, and I'm getting better every day. So uh, thoughts and prayers going out to everybody who may be where I was. Stay positive, man. Drink lots of fluids. Eat. Do what you got to do, man. Because, uh, you know, we want to see y'all back at the track next year. Hit the blue E down there, guys. That will subscribe you. Let you know every time we're talking to somebody cool. We're hoping to do more stuff this week. Thanks again, everybody. We'll see you soon.